The 118th U.S. Congress will be sworn in on Tuesday, and the border is top priority for the new House Republican majority. Arizona Republican Debbie Lesko joins us now with more on that and other items on her party's legislative agenda. We had your Republican uh, colleague Kat Kamek of Florida on last night. I want to start with the same question that I asked her. If the administration, which is supposed to be enforcing the laws that you and the Congress pass, if the administration will not enforce the law at the border, what do you, as a member of Congress or as a, a congressional majority, what can you do? Well, Happy New Year. Um, happy Republicans New Year. already have a bunch of legislation ready to go to introduce. I have legislation myself that would reinstate the Remain in Mexico policy. So when all of these people come up and claim asylum, they'd have to stay in Mexico or another safe country before they are let into the United States. We also have legislation that would require uh, that illegal immigrants be turned back at the border if there's not enough space to detain them as required by the law. And of course, I'm one of those people that's supportive of starting impeachment proceedings against uh, DHS Secretary Mayorkas if he doesn't do his job. But if you do, um, say, try to reintroduce the Remain in Mexico policy, you know it has to get signed by the president, does it not? Uh, he, he doesn't seem inclined to do anything that his predecessor approved of. Well, the public put Republicans in the majority, and so we're going to introduce this legislation. We'll see what the Senate does and what the president does. It puts them in a spot, and uh, so he needs to start solving this crisis at our border. I'm in Arizona. It's a border state. It's a total catastrophe. I talked to the people on the ground multiple times. I visited the border. It's an absolute mess. It's a humanitarian mess for the illegal immigrants that are coming here. Uh, girls are getting raped. Um, girls are being sold into sex slavery. I talked to the inspector general of DHS. They said they're not properly vetting where these kids are going all throughout the United States. They don't know where people are going through the United States. This is a mess. It needs to be fixed, and Republicans are set to do it. What about uh, the economy in this country? It's, it's teetering on the brink of a recession. Do you see a recession coming? Well, I don't know, but we sure, as Republicans, we sure have to stop this reckless government spending which is contributing to high inflation, which of course ca causes the cost of living to go up. And when people have to spend more money on the basic necessities, they have less money to spend on discretionary things, thus causing a problem with businesses. They have to lay off workers and so on and so forth. So the first thing I think Republicans should do is stop the reckless government spending then we also need to streamline and reform government regulations so that businesses, uh, small and large businesses, have consistency and predictability so that they can invest. Uh, those are the two things that I think Republicans should do. Very quickly, you're on the Energy and Commerce Committee. Do you see any possibility of a rebirth in the U.S. energy industry? I do. In some of the areas, I think we can get bipartisan support, um, and that is on uh, uh, renewables of some sorts, but also on um, new nuclear, so modular nuclear reactors, and also on hydrogen, so some of the new technologies. I know that Republicans are going to be introducing legislation to unleash American energy. I don't think the Democrats will go along with that. Uh, but hopefully they do. Arizona Republican Congresswoman Debbie Lesko. Congresswoman, thank, thank you. you. Have a happy new year.